Mounting a motor on a double ender. Welcome to the Yukon in North 61. Sometimes I uh, miss my old 17 foot aluminum boat. It weighed about 68 pounds, 70 pounds. And uh, it didn't have as huge a capacity as, uh, as my big 18 Mackenzie Sport or the 21 foot uh, Scott, but uh, it was certainly handy for small lakes and portaging. There goes my son, the moose hunter. So rather than buy a new boat, I thought I'd try side mounting a motor on my 17 and a half foot uh, Prospector, which is such a great boat. So let's, let's see how it worked out. Okay. Straight up and down. That was a good depth. Mark one motor mount H2O 17 and a half foot prospector side mount. That's the angle, it's the base plate. There's gonna be another plate that comes down and these screws in together to clamp it. Okay, there it is. And uh. The only thing I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll create a nut, like a wood nut to put over that metal nut so that one, you don't jab yourself terribly. And second of all, you can do it by hand, but you can see it clamps in. The bottom keeps it from going back and the top keeps it from going forward. And it's solid as hell. There's a little spring action between the boards uh, and I'm just gonna keep that and uh, I think it's uh, really gonna keep that on there tightly and I think we're good I think we're good to go here I'll take pressure off it shortly I don't want to break my bonds here it takes a week for this stuff to really tighten up I'm gonna loosen it up just a little but uh, show it to you with the motor on it And uh, you can see it's impossible to hit the mode the boat with the uh, the boat with the with the motor. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry. I'll take all the weight off of it. I'm very pleased with how that worked out.